this year, gotta make it clear. These bomb clap blows, I'm hearing all my one time. Oh, is this this is supposed to be a diss? Okay. Tell Rude Boy shuts up. Hello, my favorite people. So obviously you know we started off this kind of Stormzy vs. Wiley series reacting to Disappointed, which is completely wrong. You guys are right, I need to start off with where the beef officially began. Now it's not fair to say that Wiley came at Stormzy unprovoked. Though you guys know I'm a huge Stormzy fan, I love the man, I think he's the most beautiful being to ever arise from the UK. But the tweets he sent out, I must admit, were sort of like... I can see how Wiley took them a sort of way. The language Stormzy used was not was not aggressive, but it could be interpreted to be so. That being said, I also think, I don't know, I don't think y'all really care about how I feel about the situation. You just want to hear what I have to say about the lyricism and the disses. So let's get right into that. This is Wiley's diss to Stormzy, Ediat Skengvan. Okay. Stormzy Send. So this is the official track that Wiley released initially to come for Stormzy. So make sure you subscribe if you're new here because we have to do the whole series of the UK beef between Stormzy and Wiley. But aside from that, we react to a lot of UK rappers and the culture and the accents over here. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe. We're even getting into the TV shows. So I didn't see my channel going like this, but you know, it is what it is. Like the video, let's get to 500 likes on this video. And in the description down below is the second channel. So head over there, check it out. Subscribe over there too if you enjoy. And let's get into this Stormzy diss by Wiley. Ediot Skangman. Oh. I feel like I'm preparing for war. <laughs> no idiot skeng man's running anything while I'm alive. We don't care about your numbers, that's them man. They ain't gonna be a <laughs> Wiley said, I don't care who you are. I'm the boss here. No one's running anything while I'm alive. We don't care about your numbers, that's them, man. But if we're being honest, numbers are a big part of, of grime. If you're not selling, you're technically not working. You know, you can, I mean, I understand two different perspectives of success. One is just be notarized as the godfather, but one is to be like known as the king who can get all the the brand deals, it's really just about perspective, I suppose. Damn. He really said, no one's running nothing while I'm alive, so sit your ass down, Stormzy. <laughs> no idiot skeng man's running anything while I'm alive. We don't care about your numbers, that's them, man. They ain't gonna be every the end, man. I step up on that end, man. Send man straight to the truth, man. I'm bougie. Send a man straight to the booth. I ain't looking from a mountain. I'm standing on the roof. I'll be standing on the floor with my traps and my coops. Drop top ready to run this place blue. I've read all about you. That's dead though. I ain't gonna chat any shit about Maya. She's cool. So we ain't gonna do the whole Maya thing since jump. Who's Maya? Because I do. I reacted to uh, disappointed first, and I do remember Stormzy talking about a female, but I don't know if it was this Maya Ting, as he's saying. And. I mean, I don't know, it's kind of weird how Wiley was like, we don't care about your numbers, but this, his whole second verse right now was just him flexing his cars, his money, standing on the roof, and it being as high as a mountain. But like, you don't care about numbers, but you're talking about the money you have and your wealth. Contradictory to me, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's get back into the video. 
I've read all about you, that's dead though. I ain't gonna chat any shit about mine, she's cool. So we ain't gonna do the whole mind thing since your first album, the music is dying. That's why I'm in the game writing, brother, with the fighting. Live the army on site. You better pass me that mic, it's cold outside. Man, I'm back to the road outside. Man, I'm getting pretty bold outside. Yeah, I bring two in, you got run out. That just happened, you got done out. I might have Woo! I bring two in, you lot run out. Is it really that serious? Where you have to like threaten? Not He's not threatening him, but he's like kind of talking about violence here. I bring two in, you and your lot run out. I don't know. I don't really believe that. I mean, Stormzy isn't out here acting like Skepta, like on some gang-ish, but I don't think he's scary. And by scary, I mean I don't think he's a coward or afraid of a fight. So I don't, I can't see Stormzy or his friends running away from a fight. So I don't know how much I believe that line. Getting pretty bold outside, yeah. I bring two in, you got run out. That just happened, you got done out. I might have blood, grand blood, so I can't done out. My flow can't done out, my bars won't run out. Yeah. Rolex, get your watch out. Watch. Heat wave, bring the sun out. Done. So what? Number one out. Hey. After all that stuff, I ain't done out. Can't stop me when I'm setting the pace. No. Can't stop drums when... So this whole transition he's about to talk about is how Yes, Stormzy, you're on top, but I'm still here. But that's like not a diss to Stormzy, nor is it a compliment for Wiley. I mean, they're both doing great for themselves, but I don't see how how that can be a diss. I don't know. What? Number one out. Hey. After all that stuff, I ain't done it. Can't stop me when I'm setting the pace. No. Can't stop drums when they get with the bass. No. Is what it is. Don't setting set the, the pace. No so long talk, got a captain chase. This side winning the race. Yeah. I got the spirit of ace. So when I jump on the stage this year, gotta make it clear. These bumper club flows, I'm hearing all my ones. It's not homage. Took it like a sly one. <laughs> These bumper clap flows I'm hearing are all my ones. Mine. Meaning you just copied him, Stormzy. You're stealing his flow, there's no originality, is what he's trying to say. Like he created everything you're doing. Is that true? Hold on. Chase. Gotta go back. This side winning the race. Yeah. I got the spirit of ace. So when I jump on the stage this year, gotta make it clear. These bumper clap flows I'm hearing all my ones. Right. It's not homage. Looking like a sly one. I know when a brother in a league. Woo! <laughs> he said, you're stealing my flow and it's not you paying homage. You're taking my stuff and trying to like turn it into your own. Like I see you. They try one, so they all copy me, they want some of my one. Ha! It don't work though, but it's my team. And I'm the heavyweight champ for the grand team. I would die fighting for what I believe in. That's going okay. to be You can't be mad at him. him. And I will eat MCs like deep fried turkey. Deep fried turkey. I knew about rhythms. Rhythms means rhythm, I assume. From nursery. So he's like, I've been doing this since I was a child. Like, I own this stuff. Y'all are just now coming up, but you're using my what I created to do it. So he's like trying to sun them, I feel like. Which I feel like is very disrespectful, to be honest. He said the last 20 years? Wiley has been like irrelevant for 20 years and now he's coming back and like demanding the same respect as he had 20 years ago? I don't, I don't think it works like that. Because the game has changed so much, so much since Wiley came up or like created it or whatever. I don't know. I feel like he's holding on to an old image of himself, thinking it, it still applies here. It still holds weight, obviously, like he's made a name for himself. But you can't go around beating your chest when there are people who have now come out, come up. Not even just Stormzy, people in the grime scene who have now come up to, I don't want to say to be as good as he is, but definitely have momentum behind their name just as much, if not more, than Wiley does. So, like, you're demanding respect for yourself, but you also need to show respect to these other people. If, if we're being honest.
This one's great, but it's about time that we're bringing the next check. Yo, it's Riley again. You can't try me again, because every time I listen to the big five singles you drop, I can hear all my stylies again. Whatever. Oh. It's because maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe Stormzy is ripping off his his flow and his style. But even so, when you listen to Stormzy, he's never producing one single rhythm. He changes his flow a bunch of different times, uses different sounds, different voices. It's really hard for me to believe that Stormzy, and I don't I, like. I feel like I know Stormzy, which I really don't. Obviously, I'm a reactor. I don't know this man, but I don't think he's the type to just profit off of someone else's stuff and then try to make it seem like it's his own. I feel like cuz when you listen to artists like him and Dave, there's a genuine genuinity, genuineness about it, which is why it feels so good to listen to them, which is why you're able to connect to them. So Wiley is basically sitting here accusing him of being a fraud, which would would piss me off. If I'm out here doing my my hardest to create something I'm passionate about and someone's calling me a fraud saying I'm unoriginal, I'm stealing it, of course I'd feel some type of way. And honestly, I do believe this diss to Stormzy was unwarranted. Because the tweets that Stormzy sent out weren't even on like any attacking vibes. So I feel like Wiley honestly is just like, what's the saying? A hurt dog barks. I think that's the saying, like, when you feel some type of way about something, you're gonna lash out. I think this is Wiley lashing out because someone else is on top now. Period. You can't try me again, cause every time I listen to the big five singles you drop, I can hear all my stylies again. Yeah. As if. You can't try me again, cause every time I listen to the big five singles you drop, I can hear all my stylies again. Am I tripping or did he repeat that part? Like, he wants to emphasize it, Stormzy. All five singles you just dropped. I don't care about them because they're mine. You stole them from me. Did he say that, that those lines twice or am I tripping? About time that we're bringing the next check. Yo, it's Wiley again. You can't try me again because every time I listen to the big five singles you drop, I can hear all my stylies again. Yo, hmm. it's Wiley again. Hmm. You can't try me again because every time I listen to the big five singles you drop. He said it twice. You can't. He basically said, you can't even come for me because everything you're doing, you stole from me. So you're a fan. Don't even try it. The fact that he's had to say that part twice, though, was not on accident. He's definitely trying to, one, like, dig dig the insult deeper by repeating it for sure. Hey, all my sightings again. You never came back when you just used it. Worse than Edward to water down music. You can't check me here until your poster's ripped. The hype How dare you? Even if Stormzy didn't care about grime, he's clearly talented at it. So maybe he didn't necessarily grow up liking the genre, but if you're able, just like Post Malone said, he doesn't, he, growing up he didn't necessarily like rap music, but he made it because he was so good at it. And now look at him. He brings happiness to so many people. So it doesn't really, just like YouTube, I didn't grow up really caring about YouTube, but yet here I am making videos and people seem to enjoy them. Now, am I gonna say I'm the best reactor or my channel is amazing? No. But obviously, I've garnered an audience, which means I'm doing something right. Same for Stormzy. You don't have to grow up, you know, getting a degree in grimology to be able to do grime. I feel like this is what happens when you have nothing to actually insult the person about. This whole diss has just been Wiley saying, Stormzy stole my flow. Stormzy, you're not original. Stormzy, I'm better than you. But, hello, again, the numbers. Stormzy's career has proved that that's all false. I mean, the only argument that maybe would stand some ground is Stormzy stole Wiley's flow. But again, from what I've reacted to of Stormzy, it doesn't necessarily seem like he has one, one recipe in his pocket. You know what I mean? And I don't want to come off as like a wily hater because I do think his pain is justified. Imagine you created this amazing thing. Like you put in all this time, all this effort to make it stick. And then you go away for a couple years for whatever reason and come back and you feel like people are making a mockery of it. But whose fault is that? You can't blame anyone. Let's keep
keep listening. I'm still kind of hung up on like that, the, the re repetition of those bars. I heard your five tracks and you stole them from me. I feel like, you. Ca how can you be disrespectful to someone who wasn't disrespecting you? That's why I feel like this is kind of just wrong. Go back. How? He said, F, F the drip, where's the bars? This guy parring Mac, where's the pars? I don't know what parring and pars and Mac is, but F the drip, where's the bars? But wasn't this the same guy who was just talking about a Rolex, his drop top, his 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 mansion? Uh, it's contradictory. I don't like that. Like, if you're gonna say, oh, I don't even want to seem like I'm like just riding for Stormzy though, so I'm not even gonna go there. But I just feel like a lot of the stuff he's talking about, it's just contradictory. Or I did it first, and you're copying me. Huh? I'm looking, I'm looking, ring up my agent, like, get me a booking. <laughs> Dude, okay. This is what I mean by Stormzy's on top. Do we think Stormzy has to call up his manager, agent, or whatever, and be like, Yo, please get me a gig right now. I need I need money. I need to do something. I'm bored. I feel like it's the gigs that are calling Stormzy's agent, not the other way around. So there's the difference right then and there. And I feel like even Wiley has acknowledged that. But I don't think he acknowledged it in a in a way to realize like Stormzy's on top right now. I sh I need to fall back. I don't think he realizes that at all. But he literally just admitted the difference between their careers right now. Is this- this is supposed to be a diss? Okay. His flow is great. I'll admit that. <laughs> huh? Ropes don't- I've gone- I've gone rogue so nobody don't call me. What is it? I've gone ropes and nobody don't call me? Is he like saying I'm in I'm in my bag right now, I'm writing, don't bother me? Or is he saying like he's ready and no one's hitting him up? I don't know. Y'all let me know down below. Is this the end of it? I think it is. You know, now I can see why Stormzy replied with the title disappointed. Cause I am kinda disappointed. Everything he said in there was not necessarily an insult. All he said really was, Hey Stormzy, you stole my style and profited more than I ever did with it. Hey Stormzy, I went away for 20 years and now you're on top. Hey Stormzy, you just had five singles that you dropped and they all charted. But I didn't necessarily like the songs, but that doesn't really matter because they still charted. <laughs> hey, agent, get me a gig. Please, I need one, I'm ready. I don't think... How is this a diss? If anything, all this, every single bar in there was just to say Stormzy's on top right now in a genre that I created and I'm angry about it. It's unfair. He could have just said that instead of writing a whole song. You know, I guess it maybe it was all for entertainment and entertainment purposes because how many people do you think heard this song and immediately were, were like oh crap let me see what this guy's talking about and went and looked at Stormzy's old music discography performances he definitely garnered some new fans or you know a lot of money from the situation so I feel like in that sense Wiley is very smart taking a beef isn't necessarily just to have a beef it can be profitable which I'm sure both of them definitely did from this back and forth they were doing. The one thing though that I cannot get over was how Wiley was like, um, F the flexing, where are the bars? Forget like the money talk, let's talk about actual, like, important stuff. But if we're not honest, a big chunk of his diss right now 
was about money, was about how much Rolexes and watches and cars he had. So it's like, don't knock the other person for doing it, but then come around and do the same thing. In no means am I a Wiley hater. I, I don't want to come off as a Stormzy cheerleader. I admit I'm a huge fan of Stormzy, but I do want to see this beef from both sides, which is why I felt it was important for me to react to this idiot skangman, which also I feel like the title was very disrespectful. And he spelled it weird. Why didn't you just say idiot skangman? He had to say idiot. Whatever. I feel like this beef from a business standpoint was genius, but you know, it's kind of sad to see two big names in grime going at each other over jealousy. Subscribe if you're new here, like this video, and I'll see you guys on, I think, since we already reacted to the, or should I re-react to Disappointed? So, Cause now I have a kind of a better perspective on where Stormzy was coming from. Should I do a part two to the Disappointed reaction or just move on to Skangman, Idiot, whatever, part two? Let me know. Okay guys, bye.